We continue to follow breaking news. At least two people we hear have been shot at a gas station on West Grand Boulevard near Grand River in Detroit. And now, the now Detroit's Brianne Palmerini just arrived on the scene. Brianne, what do you know so far? Well, it's a very hectic scene right here on Detroit's west side. The incident happened here at this mobile station and around this area of this mobile station. I am told by police that they are two about 16 year old kids, a boy and a girl. They were both shot, but at this point they are appearing to be in they're going to be okay. They're going to they're going to pull through. I talked to the girl's mother as she was on the way to the hospital. She said she's going to be okay. She was very distraught. Here's the deal though. We don't know what happened. We don't know why this happened. We don't know what the instances is about this. Uh, actually, I've got a, a police officer over here that might be able to give us a little more information right now walking into our live shot. You guys have been in, you know, on the scene. This has been pretty hectic. We see a lot of kids out here right now. What is happening? I'm Captain Kiriakou from the 10th Precinct. This is Captain Salaji from the 3rd Precinct. The incidents, one shooting happened in 10, one happened in number 3. The basic information we got is that it may stem from an incident that happened at um, Northwestern yesterday. I'll let Captain Salaji elucidate on that. Yes. The kids are here all from Northwestern High School, right? Uh, there's a mix of kids from, there's also an academy. Before we understand, there was a fight at Northwestern yesterday where some juveniles were assaulted by another group. It looks like it may be retaliation. We do know that after school, 4.30, a black Cadillac SRX pulled up, confronted the offender uh, and some friends of his gang, his group. Uh, shots rang out. The kids ran up to the gas station here. It looks like our perpetrators followed up in the vehicle and fired some more shots, striking our second victim. Both of them are stable in local hospitals, and we've got our detectives out here. we got good video. We think uh, anyone has any information, please call either the 3rd Precinct or the 10th Precinct or Crime Stoppers. Wow, wonderful. I've talked with a parent-teacher advocate from Northwestern. She says it's kind of an issue out here. The kids are out here all the time after school, and there's a lot of fights. Um, is this something you guys see that is a problem? Yeah, generally when we get, you know, uh, unsupervised use, this is a problem that happens. So we do, both precincts try to send our manpower up here after school to try to uh, curtail any of this. But when you get a large numbers of use, uh, you know, unsupervised, it's something that happens. Obviously, the shooting is very rare, and we don't like it, no. and we're not going to tolerate it. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys, for stopping in and letting us know a little bit more about what's going on. We appreciate it. Again, if you have information, if you know what's going on here, if you know who these the shooters, the shooters are, call Crime Stoppers, call Detroit Police. Of course, we'll continue to stay here on on the scene and bring you the very latest as it becomes available. For the Now Detroit, I'm Brianne Pomerini. Back to you. All right, Brianne, these shootings are out of hand when they involve our kids. That's the worst sure. part about it.